Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Last time we found ourselves in downtown LA and we managed to speak to Prince LaCroix, who congratulated us on blowing up the Sabat warehouse and has commissioned us to go to the Elizabeth Dane, uh, a ship that's kind of been left afloat out in the middle of the ocean with the crew having been disappeared. Uh, the ship itself was carrying quite a few historical artifacts, and the one that has Prince Lacroix, Lacroix uh, all interested about the ship, is the Ankaran Sarcophagus. He wants us to figure out what's going on with it, and that's all we really know about that. Uh, wandering around downtown LA, we managed to find a, a nightclub called Confession, where we talked to the owner, uh, Venus, I believe her name was, who is who owes the mafia, the Russian mafia, some money. We helped her out a little bit and said if we convince the head mafia leader, Boris, to get her out of her debt, we will become a silent partner, whatever that means. Uh, we also went through the Skyline Apartments, um, helping out uh, the bail bonds guy from Santa Monica. His name escapes me at the moment. Arthur, Arthur Kilpatrick, that's it. Uh, we went into some different apartments. Nobody was there, but, you know, we were snooping around. Um, one apartment had, uh, I guess, a TV producer who was talking about some shows and his emails, which we couldn't crack. Um, but we were looking for a guy named Muddy for Arthur Kilpatrick. And actually, I forget what I said about that. Uh... Here. You're in a message telling Durban and Milton to meet someone in an location across the street from a bar. Uh, and that's pretty much all we got from the last episode. So let's keep looking around downtown LA. Oh, well then. Um, I don't think anyone's really going to be watching us. And I lost humanity, apparently. Really? That guy was a thug. <sighs> Fine. We'll drain him, but we won't kill him. We're not full up, but that's okay. What is this? Empire Homes? Oh, Empire Arms. Uh, is this where Boris is? Hi. Hey there, need a date? Nah, I'm okay, but thanks. Uh, da -da -da -da, Empire Arms Hotel. Uh, I kind of want to look around. I want to kind of want to look around before I uh, try to convince any kind of mafia leader to do whatever. around this side of the, of LA, downtown LA. Let's look on this side. See what's going on. Nothing going on there. Abandoned area. Can't enter there. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, hi. Uh, 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 help me! Help me! It, it's got them. It's, it's coming for me now. It, it's, it's coming for me! Uh, slow down. What's coming? Who are you? My crew. My crew. We, we, were, we were here shooting for my show. I'm a parapsychologist. Haunted L.A. Oh, oh, God, it was right behind me. We've oh, out of here. this is the, the producer uh, whose apartment we went into. What's behind you? Look, I'll level with you. We, we, we usually fake these things, you know, ghosts. If this, that's all bullshit. We were setting up downstairs, and weird shit started happening. My crew, they all started disappearing. I, I don't know what's happening. Uh, wait here. I'll go see if I can find them. Uh, no, no, don't go down there. We've got to get out. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> Okay. Interesting. No PC. <laughs> no, it was out of nowhere. <laughs> right, you stay here mumbling coherently. I'll, I'll be back. Okay, I guess I'm going up that way. Well, how did he get? What was he doing? Can't keep going. Okay, guess I can't keep going. So you're telling me I can't jump over that? goes further upstairs can't do anything there alrighty what's over here ooh how about you break that middle one there we go Did I not go upstairs? Oh, that's where she was. That's where the camera is. That's that's funny. Well, it's not funny, but... Did I pick it up? I didn't press the button to pick it up. Maybe the bottle's haunted, too. going on <clears throat> oh my god this goes further down can't interact with these.
But no, I want what was in there. Hang on, hang on a minute. Is there even a door? Can't even tell. I want that shiny. Okay, I literally can't do anything. don't know what I got. Fucking brilliant. Oh, did I get a gun? I might have gotten a gun. I don't know. Oh, it was literally there. Well, shit. Okay, well, regardless. Whee! Yeah, I'm breaking the game, so what? If you're gonna give me janky physics, I'm gonna break the fucking game. Brendan Lee? Is that how you died? too soon. Look at all these perfect cobwebs. Big as fuck, too, which means there's spiders are very successful here. Oh. Hi. Are you a vampire? Are you a... Um, what are they called again? The, the, the flesh... The, the Zimitsi? Are you Zimitsi? Oh, that's the guy from the Real top. terror is not the sight of death. Oh, I love your it eyes. It is the fear of death. What is the fear of death? Terror of the unknown. Is it these eyes you peer into? No, I am not the unknown. You and I are closer kin than you and it were. Uh, what are you? Drinking blood to sustain your death. You are damned, yes? What if, besides the blood of the living, you had to eat pounds of their flesh to maintain that thin facade of life? What would you call it? Twice damned? Um... You have to eat human flesh? We drink blood. I eat flesh. Kine eat food. But kine think us a monster. Without remorse, they would burn our body twice over to be certain we were destroyed. What is unnatural for some is vital for others. Okay, we met 30 seconds ago and you're already, you're fucking waxing poetic to me. Who are you? My birth name I tell no one. You may address me as Pisha. Pisha was the name of my companion and lover in a time before my death, 230 years ago. She has no need of it anymore. Why are you living in a condemned building? My stay in this city is transitory. I seek relics of the occult traced here and would trade similar artifacts to acquire them. But if you wish to bargain with me, the kind upstairs must be sent down here. 
He has seen too much. Are you going to eat him? Eventually. He'll never come down here. scared out of his mind. Tell him this was all a ruse. His friends playing a joke. He will come. He must come down here. If he leaves, the frail disguise we wear for mortals will be seen through. If it has to be this way, I'll take care of it right now. I mean, look, in a way... Here's the thing. This guy's an idiot, first off. Um, you know, doing this kind of thing. If you're, if you're, even if you're, uh, like, you know, being a ghost hunter and you're faking everything and you eventually come across something that's real, you had it coming. You know what I mean? This kind of person, I'm morally, morally flexible to sending to his death. Unlike the girl in a couple of episodes ago who I would send to the blood bank. She didn't do anything. She's a complete innocent. This guy, again, morally flexible. I'll probably lose humanity for it, but... Hey, well, I'm sure we'll get it back anyway. Besides, she's offering, uh, like, uh, old artifacts and shit. That's pretty cool. It's a vampire. It's something I definitely would want. Can I go here? Will I fall if I do it? If I come here? Okay. So wait a minute. I have to go all the way up there and then come all the way down here? Okay, so what's up this way then? That is not what a wheelchair sounds like. Oh my god. Fuck. Business card. Oh, did he go back to his apartment? I'm going to his apartment. Uh, let's finish this quest now. Like, let's do that. <gasps> Brandon, I saw you die down there. Are you okay? Maybe he's a ghost. Sorry, taxi guy. Okay, apartment one. That is a long distance between the ground floor and the first floor. How high up are we going? Bro, how high up from the floor are we? Jesus Christ. Uh, hello? Hello? Are you here? Oh, there he is. Hospital, but in my crew, are they? Are they? It was all a joke. They're waiting for you inside the hospital basement. Funny guys. Really? A, a joke? <laughs> a joke? A joke? Right? <laughs> oh, real funny. Oh, you got me good. <laughs> I'm going to hurt some people. 
Oh, Masquerade Redemption. Nice. Yeah, you do that. Okay. So, since I'm here... Um, computer is only good for hacking, eh? Yeah, but that costs eight. This costs six. Woods also helps with defense. Eh. Let's put it there. Let's hack this fucker's computer. Because I think it was hacking five, if I remember correctly. Ectoplasm, really? I love Haunted LA. Haunted LA is the greatest, uh, the graded show ever. I totally am going to visit all the places you talk about. Hey, you should go to this one hotel I stayed one time in Palm Springs. I swear it was haunted. The ghost kept turning on the sink faucet. Maybe he had OCD about washing his hands. Lol. Okay. Holy shit, you suck. Angry guy with strong opinions. Haunted Ellie, my ass. Even if there were such things as ghosts and shit, which there ain't, there's no fucking way a goddamn werewolf could be hanging out in Griffith Park. Just who in the hell do you think you're fooling? It's not even as if we have real fucking wolves around here for it to hide out with. I hope you get eaten by some flesh-eating monster, you stupid bastard. Oh, the irony. So, wait. Did he actually talk about this in the upcoming shows thing? So, show 17. Dilapidated hospital in the downtown area. This place is very spooky. and no work required. Yeah, I think this is where we are. That's pretty funny. Um, I'm just going to check and see if there's any other... If there's any other emails I, I still need to crack real quick. Of course, this is six, of course. I guess I'll have to remember this one. Well, fuck it. I might as well leave. I'll come back afterwards. Ah, uh, that's where I go afterwards. Okay. The kind's fate was sealed the moment he entered. Do not waste time debating the morality. If a man walks into a tiger's domain, it may result in his being devoured. So it has. I understand. About these artifacts you were talking about. Yes. I am searching for two items I have tracked to this area. One, I believe, may be in one of the local museums. I have not yet searched them all. The other, I believe, to be in the Giovanni's possession, though I have not confirmed it. For these items, I will exchange items of similar worth. Okay, fair enough. Tell me about the item you think is in a museum. A fetish is described in a 19th century chronicle of a British platoon's encounter with a local tribe. Soldiers would go missing in the night and be replaced by these fetishes. It may be valuable to my studies. Okay, and the other? It is used to communicate with certain entities otherworldly. It is a tome called the Voce del Morte. Should you find yourself within the walls of the Giovanni, seize the opportunity and take it. But they will make sure you never have another. Okay, I have another question. Yes. You seem a bit preoccupied with death. Death is the ultimate dilemma, and integral to the beliefs and behavior of every culture. Life is bore on the corpses of the dead. Without death, there would be no motivation to accomplish anything. The only emotion would be existing. Life would be pestilent and agonizing. Okay, I had another question. Yes. A vampire that eats flesh. It's still disgusting. If it satisfies you, I make an effort to only prey on the weak and worthless, consuming their flesh not out of spite, but out of self-preservation. I wither and rot without it. It is my survival. Okay, uh, about the items you want? The Museum of Natural History housed one. Of that, I'm certain. I did investigate the grounds, but I've concluded it was stolen along with that sarcophagus. Oh, 
the Ankar and Sartak Kafkas, I take it. It is used to communicate with certain entities otherworldly. It is a Yeah. Okay, right. I'll let you get back to skin eating. So, who would have thought, oh my god, this is so much faster. Who would have thought that would, um, there were flesh-eating vampires? Even I didn't know about that. Again, I'm guessing she's at Samitsi. Um, but I'm not entirely sure. Okay, sub baby. This is the Hallowbrook Hotel. Can't go in there. Can't go in there. What is with these guys with the hazmat suits? Oh, I remember this place. Huh. <laughs> AI disabled. What the fuck is that? Thaumaturgical creatures. Okay. Uh, okay. E. Bankins, Regent, Chicago. Gargoyles. During the medieval conflict with the Zemitsi, Clan Tremere delved further into secret blood magics and created a race of protectors known as gargoyles. Since their inception, gargoyles have been used as scouts, warriors, and sentries. Gargoyles are monsters, vampires by virtue of the blood and flesh through which they are created. They are no more than the detritus of other clans, given a second chance to serve their Tremere creators. Unfortunately, Many have wrongly come to view their service as slavery and have fled their masters in a search of some delusional utopia. Most escaped gargoyles live in isolation, preferring solitude to even the company of their own kind. Homunculi. For the most menial and mindless tasks, many Tremere create what is called a homunculus. These are mindless creatures which take many forms, winged, many-legged, or otherwise. Homunculi are unfailingly loyal, but their appearance makes them a serious threat to breaking the masquerade. Cool. So yes, uh, where we are currently in the Tremere Chantry. This is the Tremere um, house, I guess. But um, yeah, this place is like magical. It, it's it, it's like a maze, but as you can see, we kind of magically got transported here, and we definitely saw this guy. Uh, when we were first, um, when we were in that theater, when we were, when the vampires were deciding, deciding our fate, this guy was there. And we got an email from this guy. This is, um, this quest right here. The Regent's Riddle. M. Strauss, the Tremere Regent, has invited you to his home in downtown LA. You need to find him. His invitation left a cryptic riddle, which reads, Dark blood, our curse, a light this verse. Such power I sense in one so young. Confine me where the where burns the mystical sun. I'm guessing the mystical sun was that little out, like outside the window. There was like that purple light. Yeah. Anyway. Greetings, neonate. Might I assume you received my invitation? I have been looking forward to meeting you for quite some time. Yeah, I got it. I'm assuming you are Strauss, Maximilian Strauss. I am the regent of this chantry. Welcome. Thanks. What exactly is a chantry? A chantry is a local gathering place for those of the Tremere clan. I live here as do apprentices from time to time. Cool. And you're a regent? What's that? A regent is the leader of a chantry, as well as a teacher to young Tremere apprentices who are studying the mysteries of our clan. Can you tell me about the mysteries? I'm sorry, Neonate. The secrets of the Tremere clan are hidden from all but those who share our blood. 
You would do best not to look into them any further. Okay. What can you tell me, Max? What's going on here in downtown? Let me give you some advice, young one. Your survival in kindred society will often depend on your ability to find out yourself what is going on around you. Remember that well. <laughs> oh, thanks, Dad. I appreciate the advice. As for what is going on here in downtown, the word on everyone's lips, kindred or kind, seems to be epidemic. <sighs> Sorry, uh, epidemic. I guess that explains the people in the hazmat suits. Yeah, what's going on? It seems that disease has been spreading at an alarming rate throughout the downtown population. Considering our particular appetites, the local kindred are more than concerned about these developments. <laughs> Dude, that shit is whack, yo. Interesting. Yes, indeed. My opinion is that the local Anarchs are responsible for these outbreaks. Their precipitous indulgence of certain passions often leads to such things. Ergo, their need for the watchful eye of the Camarilla. Camarilla? What's that all about? The Camarilla? It is merely a kindred sect that exists to protect its members from the outside world. There are specific codes of behavior that we abide by in order to ensure the continuance of our species. It is nothing more and nothing less. I see. Can I ask you four more questions about the Camarilla? Surely. What else would you like to know? Are all vampires part of the Camarilla? No. There are many independent clans who are not aligned with the Camarilla. And the Sabbat is another sect of various vampire clans whose beliefs are very different than our own. Unsavory sorts, to say the least. I understand you have already run afoul of them. Uh, yeah. Good, things nine, good thing Nine's Rodriguez was there to help me out. Ah, yes. The infamous Mr. Rodriguez. I understand you owe him your life twice now. Had he not intervened... The prince would have surely had that hound of his separate your head from your shoulders. You're probably right. In any case, it's a shame that Rodriguez cannot see the wisdom of the Camarilla. He would make a powerful ally. As it is, he is a significant thorn in the Croix's side, which serves my purposes just the same. Your purposes? Aren't your purposes and the prince's the same? LaCroix is a prince, neonate, and a ventru on top of that. Even if he weren't as young and indiscriminate as he's already proven himself to be, I... But I say too much. Let us just say that he and I have differing ideas on the use of power. Spoke, spoken like a fucking Tremere. Uh... It's all right, you can trust me. What's your true opinion of him? I have overstepped my bounds. I will say no more. Okay, tell me more of the Camarilla. Surely. What else would you like to know? Uh, why aren't the Anarchs in the Camarilla? The Anarchs feel that they don't need the structure and discipline of the Camarilla. I feel that they pose a threat, both to those loyal to the Camarilla and to themselves. Most are mere children and need our guidance. An interesting observation. I have a few more questions. What else would you like to know? Uh, I think, what do you think, think of Prince LaCroix has already been asked? Okay, actually there is something else. Of course. Um, I have a few questions. What is it you would like to know? Okay, I guess let's talk about something else. Of course. Uh, maybe I could look into the epidemic for you. Hmm, an interesting proposition. If you succeed in finding the cause of this epidemic and putting an end to it, I will compensate you appropriately for your efforts. I'll do it. We'll figure out what you owe me when I return. Very well. Again, I recommend speaking with the Anarchs. You can find most of them at the local watering hole, reveling in the vices of their former lives. I believe the place is called The Last Round. I'll check in with you later.
Yes, this place is like a maze, but there's only so many places you can go. Okay, I don't want to go here. I want to go out. Oh my god. There we go. So, if we were Tremere, this would be our second home. Like, this would be like our second apartment. That's why I was kind of debating in the beginning and playing a Tremere. And plus, you get more side quests from this guy. Okay. So, that's what I was talking about that purple glow. Is that a parking lot? That is a parking lot. What's up, homie? What's up, brother? You enlightened? Uh, no. Sorry, brother. Come back when you become enlightened. Are you enlightened yet, brother? Yeah. Sorry, brother. Come back when you become enlightened. Okay. I guess I'm not enlightened. Uh, I believe we came from here. So look at that, gargoyles, eh? These guys are vampires made, uh, that are turned. That is a huge skyscraper. Those are uh, vampires that are turned into monsters, basically. By the Tremere. Okay. Is this it anywhere? Nope. Oh, oh. Did I just stop a murder from happening? Hang on, I'm actually curious. What's going on? I have never seen this before. Huh? Who's there? Damn, these punks are getting fucked up. I have no idea what happened. I have no idea what was going on. That is hilarious. I initially thought it was like one dude just chasing after another dude. Alright, L'Opera. L'Opera. Oh. Oh, lady. Oh my god. Oof. Babu. Oh, the last round. The home of the Anarchs. <gasps> Chunk? Or is that Chunk's brother? Funk? Clunk? I'm gonna call him Clunk. Call of Duty? Oh, hi. So that chase you in here, Cammy? Uh, what are you talking about? Heard nine saved your ass again. You think LaCroix would have stopped counting his money long enough to get your back, Jack? What do you mean again? 
Cammy, you'd have a whole lot less about your neck if it hadn't been for Nines calling the prince out in that courtroom. Shit. Looks like things worked out for the Croy anyway. Got himself a new pair and boy out of it. Did I do something to piss you off? As long as you're a tool for some cape, you don't have to say a word to start pissing me off. What's a cape? Cape, Cammy. Camarilla elders. The ones that have been around so long they think candlelight's a keen invention. You're doing their dirty work and you don't even know it. Uh, I make my own fate. Ah, uh, that's real. Let me put it in perspective for you. The Camarilla claims every kindred's part of the organization regardless. You do something they don't like, well, you're Camarilla, so you get punished under their laws. Like it or not. Enlightening. I'm Damsel, grandmother of these mothers, and one pissed bitch since the Troy Day. Okay. The Tremere region says an anarchist is responsible for a local epidemic. That goddamn blood witch told you what? He thinks we're responsible for that plague bear? If I hadn't promised nines I'd keep my nose clean, I'd go over right now and rip him a new wizard shoot. Magic missile casting motherfucker! What's a plague bearer? A plague bearer's a fool that doesn't care who they feed from. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. We can't get sick, but the kind can. And kindred that feed on them start spreading disease. And that gets sick, it's an epidemic. CDC's in town as we speak. Okay, so how do you get rid of one? Seen old yeller? May sound cruel, but it's necessary. If someone puts together two and two as to the real cause of an outbreak of bloodborne diseases, guess what happens? So the plague bearer's gotta be found and put down. If the Camarilla really gives a damn, they'll help us out. Okay. Anarchs helped me out before. Where do I start? One of our boy's ghouls. Name's Paul. Lives nearby in the Skyline Apartments. Been a stranger lately. Looked like death last time he was here. Said he didn't get bit, but maybe you can get more info out of him. Hope this guy's up front. Be ashamed if I had to beat it out of him. Wait, if Paul's not talking, you might want to start questioning the homeless pop. So many have been dying lately that it takes the city a few days to pick up the bodies. Okay, before I go, I have a question. Yeah? Tell me about Nines. No one like him in this world or the next. He's to the Anarchs what George Washington was to the colonies, but Ho Chi Minh was to Vietnam. He is the LA Anarchs personified. He's a great leader, and yet, he's humble. I'd die for it. Uh, I owe my life. Seems like one of the only decent people I've met. No one like him in the Camarilla or otherwise. Anything else? <laughs> Your thoughts on LaCroix? Who the hell does he think he is coming into town claiming Camarilla authority over the city? We kicked them out 60 years ago. It's like England coming back and telling the U.S. how they should do things. Fuck LaCroix. I had no idea that Anarchs had been in control that long. Yeah? Uh, tell me about Smiling Jack. Jack? Jack's Jack. Kind of a legend amongst Anarchs. There's not an Anarch in the world who wouldn't stand in rock star awe of Jack. Even the Camarilla doesn't mess with him. Really? I had no idea. Jack's one of the cooler people I've met. He's been around a long time. He used to be a pirate, so the rumor goes. Talk to Jack. He's never short on chat. Got another question. Yeah? Uh, your thoughts on the Camarilla? It's a sham. A pyramid scheme. Nothing but musty, withdrawn elders waging power struggles for no other reason than to keep their own ass alive for one more century. You think you have any real power in the camp? You're kidding yourself. Uh, I really don't understand it myself. I'm kind of new to this. You'd be better off without them. You'll see. Okay, yeah? and tell me about the Anarchs. We are about passion, Penny, and freedom. Things most Camarilla types just can't understand. I could go on and on, but Skelter says it takes too long to get off my soapbox. Ask him, or even Jack. No, go on. Tell me what you think. I mean, geez, it just makes sense. Power should be redistributed amongst all of us, not just with you. Communism would actually work for Kindred, where it fails with humans. It's just common sense, you know? 
<laughs> I'm gonna stand over there, but keep talking. I'll be listening. Um, okay, nothing right now. We're all done. Hey, I heard that. I didn't say anything. I can't go there. Okay. Well, if it ain't the talk of the town, host a child for Camarilla Benevolence. What errand does the prince have you running today, boy? Whatever, you're not even worth the snappy comeback. Sub nines, you showed up. Good. Here's what I gotta tell you. And so you know, I don't lecture, I don't rap, I'm no bureaucrat. I'm just a guy out of nowhere came to be involved in something 500 times bigger than you and me. Okay, go on. You got a right to know the score. You Camarilla, this is the short of it. They operate a lot like a pyramid scheme. There's a bunch of these old timers at the top with God only knows what plots in mind. They lose their power, they die. They sired more to carry out their plans. And looking for a little power than those kindred sired for their own schemes and so on and on and on. It hurts my head just thinking about the mess. What it works out to is this. Only a few people at the top have any real power. Uh, aren't you part of the Camarilla? Them's fighting words, newbie. But you're young and stupid, so I won't make an example out of you. See, the Camarilla claims all of us are members, even if we don't want to be. Which is, of course, the biggest little horseshit a man ever heard. So what are you all about? I learned the way of this world during the Depression. A bunch of old rich bastards screwed the country. But did they suffer? No. The little people suffered. You can't trust the people at the top. The world would be a better place without them. All you can do is get a group of people together who aren't assholes. Find a place to put your feet up and make some examples of the quote-unquote elite keep the rest the hell out. Everyone's an equal here. The same thing this country used to be about. That's what LA has been. An anarch free state. Anarch free state? The Camarilla was kicked out on their ass a long time ago. We, the anarchs, didn't want to play their politics anymore. Now the Croy and crew pop in like they never left? Uh-uh. No goddamn way. Their laws don't apply to us. Have you tried meeting with the Camarilla? I got their meeting right here. Dramatic. Not a fan of the prince. And now the cliche is complete, yeah. I feel like that'd be a little too antagonistic. Uh, sounds like you're the prince of the Anarchs. No such thing. And again, newbie, don't throw those kind of words around lightly. You're risking a beatdown. I fought to keep LA free since I was embraced. Long time later, I'm one of the only ones left that hasn't bitted or switched sides. The most veteran soldier on the battlefield. Not a fan of the prince, huh? The Croy represents everything I hate. The Camarilla, stuck-up aristocrats, rich businessmen, crooked politicians. The only place La Croix belongs is in an urn. Okay, one more question. Any advice you can give me? Here's what I tell all the new blood. One, you get careless, that blood will make you into a monster. But you rampage around here, you get put down. Two, don't kill when you feed, no reason to. In this city, there's lots of ways to slake the beast without leaving a trail of dead. Three, the Camarilla's full of shit. Four, watch your back, always. And lastly, learn how to fight. Because a speech ain't gonna save your ass when you're staring down the barrel of a shotgun. Well, we learned that the hard way. Can you teach me how to fight? After picking your ass up off the pavement back there, yeah, I can tell you don't even know the basics. Hold your hands up like this, and keep your body at an angle. Makes you harder to hit. Keep your thumbs out of your fists, and put your weight into your punches. Cool. Thanks for your help, Nines. LA's the school of hard knocks, so keep your friends close and your enemies in a barbecue pit. Once you square things with LaCroix, don't give that son of a bitch the time of night. I got my eye on you, kid. Alright. So did my brawl go up? I don't know what went up. I think my defense went up. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't remember. I don't I don't remember what my stats were. Something went up. Lucky who made it back in one piece. How in Santa Monica, kiddo? Uh, I didn't get to do much sightseeing. 
<laughs> I can't imagine you did. I'll be too busy getting pushed around by every vampire with a week of seniority over you, am I right? You could say that, yeah. That's usually the way the story goes. Same old bullshit politics from when you were alive, huh? Don't it make you just want to rip somebody's spine out? What? You saying that's just me? <laughs> uh... The Corey's sending me out to the Elizabeth Dane. Oh, really? Yeah. Why, what's up, Jack? The sarcophagus. Did LaCroix tell you about the Ankaran sarcophagus? He told me enough. Yeah, well, maybe I should fill you in on the details. That sarcophagus is bad news. Kindred around the globe have been going batshit since it was discovered. Why? The word is, is there's an ancient asleep in there. One of the fathers of the vampires that if you trace your lineage way back, there's a chance it'd end up with him at the root. He was asleep this whole time? Ancients don't just nap. They sleep whole ages away. And when they wake up, they're hungry. So he'll wake up and go hunting? It's more than that, you know. Most kindred think it's one of the signs of the end. The apocalypse. Every religion has their own version of it. Kindred call it Gehenna. And the way they tell it, it starts when the ancients rise to devour their children. You don't really believe this stuff, do you? Well, kiddo, I guess you're going to be the one to find out. <laughs> hey, good luck. Try not to wake Grandpa Munster and kill the world, huh? <laughs> <coughs> So why is the prince sending me? And why did he send me to Santa Monica? Because he never thought you'd make it back. If Nines didn't stand up for you in the courtroom, you would have been toast right there, man. Everybody knows that. I don't get it. Why did he want to kill me? It's bullshit Camarilla law. You gotta get it approved before you sire anyone. Vampire population control, fascist crap. LaCroix wanted to look like the strong leader upholding the law. So how come I'm still standing here? Public relations, man. Calculated risk. Venture are born in a poor room. When Nines called him out, LaCroix realized it was time to show a carefully measured dose of Camarilla compassion. Is LaCroix afraid of Nines? I thought he was the boss. LaCroix is the boss of the Camarilla in L.A. That's it. <laughs> LaCroix is the boss. <laughs> That's rich. Yeah, I think he's got that Napoleon thing going on. The facts are like this. The Camarilla need us to buy into their bullshit for any of their laws to mean dick. Now, telling free-living vampires they need to be ruled is a hard sell. So, the Camarilla baked up a play nicey plan. Show everyone how great they are, so we'll all just jump on board. So, who's everyone? The free-living dead, kiddo. A lot of people like to use the label Anarchs. Whatever the hell that means. Anarchs. Those got a nice kick to it, though, huh? <laughs> yeah. So tell me about the Anarchs. That's us, so I'm told. What'd you want to know? How long has the Anarch movement existed? Yeah, I could tell you about the history of the movement about our struggle. <laughs> What's any of that shit mean, anyway? Do we want to sit through history class here? It's good to know your history. I'm no scholar, kid, but I've been around. Seen more and done more than most vampires ever will. I don't know that our situation's ever gonna be easy. But some things you gotta decide are worth fighting for. How can you win, though? Fight harder than the other son of a bitch. Every time I yank a jawbone from a skull and ram it in an eye socket, I know I'm building a better future. <laughs> Does Nine share your vision? You bet, kid. Is he in charge here? As much as anyone is. Nines is a stand-up guy. Takes the politics a little too seriously, though. Came up during the Great Depression, so his brain's wired to that shit. You seem to know a lot about the politics yourself. Me? <laughs> I never had much patience for negotiations. Everyone can live or burn. It's up to them. What about the rest of Nine's crew? Yeah, I'm not sure the story on most of them. Nine's crew. 
What clan is thine? Bruja. Most everyone here has Bruja blood. Moving right along. Uh. I think. What's on your mind? I think we're done. Oh, humans. Okay. What about them? What do you think of them? What do I think of humans? I don't really. When you were alive, did you think about cows? <laughs> you know, if one got killed, I bet you didn't cry. But you know, you're not out there slaughtering them for sport either. They got caught in the crossfire sometimes. Ah, man, we got our own problems. Let the kin sink or swim. All right, I'm out of here. Ooh, condom. This is a really small dive. Fuck. Goddamn cannies. You guys are all the same. How about you go fuck yourself? Anyways. Uh, I remember now. I think every time you she sees you, Damsel's like, oh, fucking asshole. It's like called for uh anyways i think that's all the time we have for this episode we're already running a little bit long but uh yeah sorry about all the anarch talk for like the last i don't know 20 minutes uh but i figure it's a good way for those of you that don't know and are interested to get a good feel of like what's going on because again half the thing about vampires well maybe not half but at least a good majority of the 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 gameplay of vampires is the politics um it's because again all the different clans are out for themselves but you know they they gotta uphold uh the masquerade they gotta like politicians they gotta you know smile and schmooze with everyone to get along while you know they they look after their own agenda it's pretty much the same thing um and that's that's part of the charm of the vampire tabletop game, whether you're a camera or an anarch, you know, it's you, you're, you're, are you're role playing. That's, that's the, that's the big thing of it. Uh, but yeah, as I said, that's going to be it for this episode. Hope you guys are enjoying the playthrough so far. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.